Welcome to Swish Player Profile. I'm Sean Schultz with uh, Brad Blake and Blake Spadero. And we are joined by one of the top players in the nation from the University of Utah, Alyssa Peewee. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? So far, so good. First thing, what led you to go to Utah? I think just really overall the culture and the um, like atmosphere here, I think it's very different from a lot of places um, that I visited and um, something that really stuck out to me was just getting to know the coaches and, um, you know, kind of seeing how it would fit into the program uh, stuck out to me. And it was something that um, I saw myself, you know, excelling um, once I transferred. Uh, so yeah, but basically really just the atmosphere of the coaches. Um, and I think, the biggest thing for me, though, was how the coaches here just, like, they had all the belief in me in the world, I think. And that was that was really important to me um, because, you know, I didn't, like, at, at a point um, when I was transferring, I didn't have that belief in myself. So to have somebody that is going to be there for you and believe in you and support you was something that was super important for me. With what you just said, how important uh, was it for you to have your brother there on campus to kind of have that support? It was, I mean... It definitely took away a lot from, like, me being homesick because, you know, I'm somebody who is always around my family. And, um, you know, just going from that to, you know, not getting to see them pretty much, like, year-round, um, it was tough. So I think that had a bit, big impact on just making me kind of um, be less homesick and have somebody there um, to be there for me, like, with whatever I needed. Just be a big brother for me, so... I wanted to ask about your leg tattoo. Uh, what is it and what kind of special meaning is there? Because it kind of stands out. It's really just my culture, um, like traditional designs. So basically what that, my tattoo, what it means to me is just kind of representing my culture and um, kind of that, I don't know, just that stamp of who I am in my background um, culturally. So, uh, What are your hobbies and uh interest outside of basketball i love to like growing up in alaska i love to go camping fishing like hiking and all that um i mean i love just being around my family and my friends and i don't know i i like music a lot um i like to sing people like, live for the fortune some people live just for the fame <laughs> Some people live for the power, yeah. Some people live just to play the game. I got to sing a little bit, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's about it. But <laughs> yeah, no, he's he's all my siblings. They they got everybody got a pretty good voice. So musical artist. Um, growing up, it was always Alicia Keys. I had like a little keyboard. And I would just be trying to play and sing all the time. So, yeah, I would say Alicia Keys. So, basically, if the WNBA draft doesn't work out, you're going for American Idol? <laughs> Shoot, that could, be, that could be a fallback plan, for sure. What's it like playing at the highest level this year? And how do you feel about all the competition that you're facing in the Pac-12? I mean, it's a lot like last year. I think the only difference with, like, just playing at this level is I've gained um, just experience over the past, what, four years I've been in college, and that helps a lot, like, when you're when you're playing at this level, I think. And, um, yeah, I would say just, like, the experience I have, you know, and with that comes, like, confidence. So I'm playing with more confidence this year. Um, and, 
you know, like we always know that the Pac-12 is going to have very good competition. And, um, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's exciting to, to start playing those games just to, you know, those are games that are going to get us better and kind of uh, just, I guess, show things that, you know, we're really good at and that we need to work on. And, um, you know, we kind of just build from every game. So, um, yeah, we're, we're excited for sure. You were a multi-sport athlete back in high school. Now your career in women's basketball and your journey. Being such a role model for females in women's sports in general, what advice would you have for females just getting into the female sports? Well, for like younger athletes, like I, like you said, I was a multi-sport athlete growing up in, I think, like, if that's what you want to do, it's important to kind of, like, have fun with that and kind of figure out what you're good at and, like, what she loves to do. Um, and, like, advice I would have is just really to just find somewhere, um, find somewhere where you're supported and um, somewhere that is going to push you and, like, just surround yourself, I think, with people that are going to push you to be the best that you can be um, and not just, you know, keep you comfortable because that's where complacency comes in and, like, you know, you don't get any better. So I, I would say, yes, just surround yourself with the right people and the right resources um, and take advantage of, like, the time you have before, you know, things start getting more serious, like once you get to college and pros and all that. So, Are you looking forward to uh, the WNBA? Yeah, for sure. It's always been the childhood dream dream of mine. So, um, I think by doing that and just making it uh, to the WNBA, it will be, you know, my lifelong dream accomplished, and you know, just making my family proud. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited for that. Your team's faced a couple of uh, challenges with injuries and you know such. What do you want people to know about the spirit of Utah and just how you guys kind of fight and your resilience? I think, you know, especially with. Um, like how big of an impact Gianna had on our team, um, like just playing in games and things like that. Um, I think when a player like that goes down, a lot of teams could like lose confidence or lose, you know, just that motivation for, for like the goals you set out from the beginning of the year, because, you know, your team's not the same. So, um, I mean, from that, I just think, I just think that our team, like, I've really liked how our team has gone about it and uh, how everybody's just, you know, continuing to do better and just try to give more to, um, you know, fill that void. So, um, you know, I think this this team does a great job at that, and I think we'll, ju we'll be just fine. I've been around basketball, men and women, a pretty long time, and it's rare to find players with such a fire in them, and you clearly have that, I mean, we joked about the South Carolina game, but there was no fear, just a uh, battle. I was just going to ask you, how do you change your defense on Peely? She's just getting so many looks. Smart. She's smart. We just got to – I'm trying to get us to free our feet and not let her get to our bodies because once she gets to your body, it's, it's over. Um, we just got to win the game at this point. We got to try to – we try to, we got to outscore them at this point because we cannot stop her. Where does that come from? Um – <laughs> just growing up in a competitive family, I think, and you know, I, I know a lot of people say that, but like, I got I got eight siblings, so you know, it's and my older brother, he's he's playing for the Miami Dolphins right now, so you know, we're both like we both grew up, and we are both very good athletes, so um, I think just having that, having that, like my brother there to push me, and you know, he's. He's a great athlete himself. So when you have like two of those, like going back to going back and forth, and you know having that competition, um, you know it really, like at a young age, I think like started that competitive fire in me.
I'd say that's where that comes from. Excellent. Well, we won't keep you any longer. Uh, this is Pee Wee, University of Utah. Thank you. Take care. Okay.